I bet you didn't know about Unit 731. It was a place where they conducted research that they thought would benefit Japanese soldiers. They used prisoners as their test subjects. They were primarily Chinese, Russian, Mongolian, and Korean. It was around through the 1930s through 40s. Here's some of the things that they did. They wanted to study frostbite. They would take the prisoners' hands and stick them in a bucket of ice until they were frozen and literally had ice forming on the skin. They would take them out and immediately attempt to rewarm them, usually by dousing them in scalding hot water or holding them to an open flame. Sometimes they would wait to see how long it took them to thaw naturally. Sometimes, when the heat was immediately applied to their cold limbs, it would immediately cause the skin to slough off, including the muscle, just revealing bones. They would also dissect prisoners while they were still conscious. They would inject them with disease and let them fall ill. And once they were, they would cut them open and examine their organs to see how disease affected a living body. Sometimes they would try other things, like amputate an arm and sew it on the other side. No anesthesia was ever used. They would even cut off circulation to a limb just to watch it die off and see the effects of gangrene. Sorry y'all, I have to keep censoring the pictures for TikTok. They would also test their weapons on these prisoners. They would use them to compare the penetration depth of bullets. They also used swords, bayonets, and knives. See how easily they could cut through the human body. Oh, and they even tested flamethrowers on them. They also used them for biological warfare. They infected the prisoners with the most lethal pathogens they could. If they survived and got better, they were executed. The ones who succumbed to the illness, they let them bleed out on the morgue table. They let the disease spread like wildfire through the prisons. When they felt that they had mutated this plague to become absolutely lethal, they exposed the prisoners to a huge amount of fleas. They then took these fleas and created bomb casings that contained 30,000 fleas each and dropped them over a Chinese village. With a mixture of anthrax, this biological warfare killed over 6,000 Chinese people.